Hey everybody, I am excited to bring you a technique that I invented today, and this is very quick, just two minutes, and I call it gel impressionism because it gives an impressionistic look. I have my 5x7 gel press set up on the lid of my Misty, and I'm just adding some Distress Oxide ink directly to the gel press in Broken China. And now I'm going back with faded jeans, overlapping them just a little bit. And then I'm going to add, you might be on to me now and figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to add some yellow and brown to the bottom, vintage photo and fossilized amber, using just the edge of the ink pad to sort of create stripes. And if you're not on to me, I'm creating a landscape. Next, I'm going to mist this lightly with alcohol. And it's really important that you do this with alcohol. I tried this several times. And the ones that I did with water weren't nearly as pretty. Next, take a dye ink. This is Early Espresso ink from Stampin' Up! And I'm inking up an image from Lovely as a Tree. And just make sure you get ink all over the image. And I'm going to stamp that image directly onto the gel press into the oxide ink. And now here comes the real magic. When you close the lid of the Misty, you're going to be able to see the scene through the lid. And as you push down, the ink moves around and creates a little impressionist painting for you. It's like magic, and each one is different, and each one is really, really beautiful. I squealed when I did the first one. It's so much fun. So I hope you give little impressionistic landscapes a try with your gel press and your Misty, and let me know how it comes out. Thanks so much for watching.